Tuscan Raiders, also known as Sand People, were a species native to the desert planet of Tatooine. Their homeworld harsh environment resulted in them being extremely xenophobic and territorial of their native resources, often attacking the smaller outskirts such as Anchor. Hello and welcome to Sintoine's Corner and today we're reviewing the Sand People, which just sounds a little bit weird. I'll call him a Tuscan Raider just for myself. He's on the old Kenner sort of vintage here because he's part of the 40th anniversary of Star Wars A New Hope. So this guy's about two years old. I bought him back, I think, when I got the um, the set, uh, which come with the Death Trooper, Storm Trooper, um, Princess Lear, Chewbacca, C-3PO. Uh, he was one of the other ones as well. So I've been waiting to it actually open this figure, but it's just getting around and having the time. So I kind of sort of pick out the ones that I've got in my collection that I want to open up. So anyway, he's on that sort of Kenner looking background. We've got the chaser ring around the outside. We've got the 40th anniversary kind of hologram up here. We've got Kenner written down here. He's in his nice little blister bubble. And it looks pretty cool. I mean, we've got his gun. We've got gaffy stick sort of ends. And we've got like his little stick in the back as well. So we can choose which kind of sort of like end you want to it. On the back, we have all the figures that you could get in that range. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think I've pretty much got most of them now. I mean, I, obviously I didn't go for the R2-D2 because I've got the Bandai one. And oh, I still need Han. Um, so I'm hoping that they might do that as the new archive that are coming out with a new face sculpt because he looks a little bit weird in my opinion. But um, yeah, so without further ado, let's crack this person open. Okay, so here he is in his blister pack. Nothing really sort of out showing because you could really see it on the card. And um, yeah, I mean, he looks like a really nice sort of full figure. And it looks really detailed as well from first impressions. And um, he's got a little tie that's keeping him in there. Or keeping his robe very tame, shall we say. Oh, and around his hand as well. Fight. So here he is. Looks a bit boss eyed, but uh, I suppose I don't really kind of sort of thing because it just looks like it's all made out of uh, bits and bobs, I suppose. But uh, yeah, he looks pretty cool. He feels quite solid. His robe feels really nice. And um, yeah, can't wait to sort of pose him around and see what this guy's capable of. So I'll go and do that now and have a full review for you in a moment. Hello and welcome back. So I've been away taking some photos with Mr. Tuscan Raider and um, yeah, he's pretty cool actually. I, at first I, thought, I was a bit worried about his articulation and all that and obviously you know it's going to be hindered because he's got that big lumpy bit of plastic between his legs down there. But um, yeah, he's actually quite a nice looking figure for an older figure and he's pretty cool actually. So accessory wise as well, he comes with quite a bit and obviously with his gun and stuff and yeah quite nice um it would be nice to get a few other sort of tuscan raiders out there maybe different looks and stuff but um i think they nailed it to be honest i think it's pretty cool so looking at his accessories it comes with his gaffy stick it's just very sort of we've got the sculpt tool in there we've got this sort of like extra pine cone looking pit at the top here which goes down into just standard no sort of wood effect or anything on there uh, we've got like a nice grip part down here so it doesn't keep sliding up and down his hand and then I put this one on here because it's a little bit different compared to the most. It's a nice sort of silverness on there. Um, uh, but we can actually remove that. Or we can put on the other ones. So that just pops out. So there's obviously different styles of gaffy sticks out there. But um, I mean, we've got this one here. But to me, just it's really cheap plastic. It feels horrible. Still got the mold injection kind of look on there. 
and it's really really loose into that so yeah it's not a great one and then the other one again it's probably a little bit better than the last fits in a bit nicer it's not as loose still looks cheap plastic and all that on there um, with no kind of worn torn kind of look so I always keep with the silver just to give it that extra bit of look on there and then um, we've got a bit of a black wash in there as well which is quite nice um, so yeah that can just pop out um, and that's kind of his gaffy stick kind of accessory and his other one that he comes with is his kind of rifle um, that they use so he kind of just pop that into his hands it's just really awkward there we go and then it goes over that and um, yeah he fits this quite nice we've got this very nice 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 and nicey nice um, kind of kinetic kinetic rifle you know it's pretty pretty cool we've got the nice silver silver detailing up here and the brown kind of stock and we've got the detailing on the actual sort of part down here unfortunately there's no actual paint applications on there so it just gets lost in the brown mold and um, up on the side here we've got the extra kind of sort of silver clippings so it's done nice you know again but it's done in sort of horrible cheap brown plastic that you can just see like the mold lines and everything on there so um it probably just needs a bit of weathering on there to make it look a bit nicer and a bit like the gaffy point bits as well but yeah going into his articulation and um yeah, his head can go left and right you can look down just a tiny bit look up a little bit more uh rotation you can go all around but obviously his robe gets in the way we have got a rotation at the uh elbow his elbow if i can find the joint there he is can come up it's about 90 degree we've got a rotation at the wrist and there's also a hinge in there we've got a rotation at the waist which is quite tight and he kind of sort of flicks back look down nothing look back nothing leg wise they can come out this side we've got a rotation up the upper thigh we've got a double jointed knee even though you can't really get to it because of the uh, all the robes and this extra vinyl part down here and we've got a rocket and a pivot as well at the ankle so um, yeah apart from this it really gets in the way and um, a bit like the old Obi-Wan really but I mean a Tuscan Raider they don't really do lots of kicks and all that so you can get him falling over you can get him sort of raising up his arms um, it's just for the look there so would I prefer kind of cloth down here no I just think it does work with the vinyl um, but obviously you do lose your articulation in that way but I think Hasbro have done the correct the correct thing there by having soft goods with the vinyl and um, yeah so really going into the actual um, kind of sculpt of it his eyes look a little bit crooked um, but they, they were all a bit weird and the wonderful in their ways of the Tuscan Raiders so it was all kind of sort of mishmash and yeah the side on there we've got this sort of like nice sort of black wash over all the sort of like uh, over the bandages we've got this sort of ruffled up neck part around here with his sort of uh, kind of breathing apparatus on there I suppose going into his bandoliers and we've got this kind of rumpled kind of looking kind of sort of under tunic got the extra sash belt with more sort of pouches going down into this and he's got that nice kind of look wet feel or wet look shall I say at the bottom so it actually looks like it's sort of warm the actual soft goods as well I think is pretty nice it's definitely the right material for it it lays down it, it puffs out in the right places and um, and if you wanted it to lower down a little bit you can just tuck it in the back just tuck it in tuck it in his skirt bit you're not really going to notice so you can actually lower it down so if you don't want too much flare or you can flare it out and underneath we got just kind of book standard kind of car key trousers um, or chinos going into the bandage and I think this is done the detail on here with the black sort of wash over the top looks absolutely superb I think it looks really nice and um, yeah that's pretty cool and that is really the conclusion of Mr Tuscan Raider um, as any kind of person that's going to collect any of these figures is an absolute must on the shelf he sort of sits on my shelf with all the bounty hunters and kind of extra kind of um, alien type people 
Jabba's sort of palace kind of guys and stuff like that, as in the Denzines of the universe. So um, yeah, I would highly recommend this guy. I think he sort of fluctuates at the moment. I got him for about £20 on the 40th anniversary card. Um, and I think he's number 41 in the black kind of sort of card sort of thing. So I think you still get him out there. He's definitely like an eBay seller anyway. And um, yeah, definitely highly recommend. So that's kind of brought me to the end of the sand person. And um, yeah. You can follow me down below. You can uh, follow me on Instagram, which is in the description. You can comment, you, you can subscribe, and you can do anything to support the channel. It's always welcome. So guys and girls, thank you so much for joining me on this one. I'll see you next time. Bye.